Hello, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Disney Dining Show. I'm your host, Pete Werner, joined at the table this week by my good friends, Charles Boda. Hey, folks. And Mr. Steve Porter. Hello. And this week, uh, we are, you know, as we're coming to the end of 2018, it's always good to do a little retrospective. And um, every year we, uh, or at least last year, I think, we Mm -hmm. did uh, what the most searched restaurants, most searched menus on the Diz uh, menu database were for 2018. Um, No real big surprises here, but start with number 10. Uh, And interestingly enough, it is the only one on the list that is in Epcot World Showcase, and that is the Rose and Crown at the UK Pavilion uh, in Epcot. Um, Why? (laughs) <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah. it's it's not bad. I mean, I like I like Rose and Crown, mm-hmm. but nothing's um, changed. It's not like they had a new menu this year, or I don't know. Did they update the drinks list? I mean, not that I know of. I, I mean, know they have added. You know, they added their high tea and a couple other that experiences. Could be, yeah. could be that, but I, I was surprised. I was surprised that Rose and Crown made the list of like the ten of, of the ten most searched di- uh, menus on our site. Um, and just in case you don't know, we have pretty much every menu from every table service and counter service restaurant uh, at Walt Disney World on our site. Um, so if you just go to www.info.com, um, I'm going to kill the people that keep calling me on a Monday and <laughs> when they know, they know what I'm doing. Um, uh Go to www.info.com, just go to the dining area, and you'll find all of the restaurants at Walt Disney World, both table service and quick service. Their menus are all there. Um, Number nine, again, I'm assuming this is people that have never eaten there before, Mm -hmm. because you'd think everybody knows what's on the menu at Ohana, which is our number nine uh, most searched menu this year. Um, Family style. Great food, depending on, you know, the, the the food was really good last time I was there. It's just we were rushed through it. It was the service was super quick, and it felt like high pressure to get in and get out. But the yeah. food was the food was good. We're hearing a lot about that. Mm-hmm. We're hearing a lot of reports of that. It's not just us. A lot of people saying that, especially when your reservations are later in the evening, they are rushing you through the meal. Interestingly enough, they're not charging you less for it. <laughs> um, and my my attitude is that. If you want me out of there so fast, if you know nine o'clock is too late to be eating here, either a don't sit, don't seat people, or b charge less. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I again, I don't know why this was such a pop. It's just probably one of the most popular restaurants, and that's why it's high on the list. I'm also thinking there was there was the bar on the second floor right near Ohana had some refurbing, and I wonder if people were searching through Ohana thinking they'd find information on that. I I mean I don't know, but. I don't know. Number eight, Liberty Tree Tavern in the Magic Kingdom. This is a perennial uh, entrant on this list. Um, again, it's not a menu that changes, really. Yeah. Very, like, very slightly. I think uh, the if last ever. time I went, the um, uh, Mojo, Moho Pork, I said it wrong last time, and so I'm just going to say it both ways. Moho, there we go. Uh, the pork seasoning was different. But, yeah, it's pretty much the same standard Thanksgiving-ish American food every time. I do have a question before we go any further. Is this all just the table service, or was quick service included in this list? All I did was take a look at the 10 most searched menus. There was not any specification on whether it was table service or quick service. This is, I do a search on just that, those those searches. Okay. Um, Because it turns out all of them are table service. all, Mm -hmm. All of them are table service. And, you know, the ta- I think, you know, because you're making reservations for them, and mm-hmm. a lot of times you got to make them well in advance, um, people want to know exactly what's... I think it's... The only reason I bring it up is because I know with the popularity of Chicken Guy this year that I was surprised it didn't make the list, even though it's not like, you know, a must-have reservation, but there was a lot of buzz around Chicken Guy, so I was just surprised it didn't make the list. Uh, and again, this is for the entire year. If we probably looked in the month the Chicken Guy opened or the two-month period around that, probably would have seen it trending on the list, but we're taking a look at everything from January 1st. So, Fair point. Um, the other one, uh, rest, uh, number seven, Restaurant Akershus at Norway in, um, 
in Epcot. Um, oh, so it's not the only one. In, uh, I, I said Rose and Crown was the only one. It wasn't. Um, oh, I just there we go. Um, I'm having a hard time today. <laughs> um, so Rose and Crown wasn't the only one. Aqua Shoes was on the list. Um, and I can save you. I can. You know, I, we love the traffic too. That section of the site, but I, I could I can save you the trouble and tell you what the menu is. It's a lot of crap. Oh gosh, a lot of crap and princesses. Now, no princesses are not actually on the buffet, although I think that would only improve it. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the reason Akershus is so uh, so uh, popular is that it's a princess meet and greet. It's a princess character meal. Okay, that's really weird. The lights on that wreath were off a moment ago, and they just turned on. Oh, yeah, the studio is super haunted. Do you guys not know that? Okay. Ghost of Christmas Pass. That was pretty weird. Um, those lights were not on a second ago, because when I sat down here, I looked over there, I'm like, oh, doesn't that light up? Yeah, no, they just t- turned on. They just turned they on. They just turned on a second ago. Yeah. Well. Yeah, it's the Ghost of Christmas Ocker Shoes. Um Number six, the Crystal Palace in the Magic Kingdom. I get this. Mm-hmm. Um, very, very popular. One of the restaurants you absolutely should make reservations for. Um, the Winnie the Pooh character breakfast is probably, not from a food standpoint, but just from a character standpoint, um, is probably one of my favorites on property. Um, so that's a, that, that makes a lot of sense, number six does. Do they have anything honey flavored for that? I've never done it. Like, do they have honey? No, I don't remember. They must. Seems like they should. If they don't, that's a gross oversight. Maybe that's why it's so searched. Everybody's asking that Where's very the honey? important question. Yeah. Um, number five, Tusker House over at Animal Kingdom. One of the best, uh, I think the it's best. It's the best. Character meals on property, for sure. Agreed. No, it is, in my opinion, the best buffet on property, let alone character uh that it's a character meal um yeah you think the food is better than boma yeah um yeah i'm I'm hedging my bets there yeah i just thought of that i don't know that it's the it but it's up there it's up if you love boma at animal kingdom lodge tusker house is right up your alley incredible incredible night a very diverse menu very diverse buffet you have Stuff that you could, you know, if you're not an adventurous eater, you can be really comfortable with. But also the baboti and and some of the more African dishes. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, it's kind of like a full range. Like there, you know, you can be a non-adventurous eater and feel comfortable. And it kind of scales up too. It's not like one or the other. You can kind of find stuff in between where people like me, I, I don't consider myself at all an adventurous eater. But a, I think a place like Tusker House allows you to kind of test things mm-hmm. to say like, you know, maybe, I'll, and especially because it's a buffet, you can say, oh, well, if it, I don't like it, I could just leave it on the plate. So you can kind of, you know. So you're encouraging people to waste food? Oh, jeez. Well, they could just get smaller portions, and then if they like it, go back for more. This guy. Yeah. He knows. <laughs> <laughs> um, number four, again, a menu that has not changed in 172 years. A uh, hoopty do review over at Fort Wilderness. The longest running dinner show in America. Do they still serve fried chicken there? Fried chicken, all the usual, uh, the same stuff they've always served. I don't think, really and truly, can anybody remember the last time this menu changed? Um, what about cornbread? I made some the other night. The hoop to do cornbread. But also, you can get most of the same exact food from the same exact kitchen next door at Trails End if you don't want to do the dinner show. But I highly recommend doing the dinner show. This is a great night. This is a fun night um, over at Hoopty Doo, and another one you need to make reservations for. Nuts, not so easy to get last minute hoop, at Hoopty Doo. Not impossible, but always a good idea to make reservations. Number three, again, I can save you people time. Hollywood and Vine. Right now, if you want to know what the menu is, I want you to go into your kitchen. I want you to open up your garbage can, and I want you to see what's in there. It's worse. That's your menu. That's your menu. Um, although we gave it, I gave it better marks this last review than I have previously. It's still not. Um, it, it's 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 really you're paying for the characters, and the characters were magnificent. Honestly, mm-hmm. the character interaction was absolutely magnificent, 
at Hollywood and Vine. We did a review of it in the last few months. So, uh, number two, Cinderella's Royal Table. Again, one of the more popular options at uh, at Walt Disney World. That is the restaurant that is in Cinderella Castle in the Magic Kingdom. Uh, of course, it's a princess meet and greet. Um, I also think search wise, maybe one of the reasons it was searched so much is because there's just that. Um you know, it being in the castle, people being interested in that, saying, oh, my gosh, let me learn more. Uh, so that could be a little bit why it's as high as it is on the list. I don't yeah. know. And, of course, number one on the list is no surprise, but especially because this menu did undergo a massive change this year, and that's Be Our Guest, in, uh, also in the Magic Kingdom. Um, that went to a prefix menu. Mm-hmm. Uh, when was that, Craig? Uh over the summer or yeah, early summer? Uh, July. Yeah, June, July time frame. It went from um, a la carte to prefix, which means you have limited options for appetizer, main course, dessert, uh, and beverage, uh, and it's a set price. Um, and that made avail. And then they also went to two table service credits, which made the availability of this uh, restaurant a little bit better than it has been. Um, for a long time, so um, so there you have it. That's our list of the ten most searched restaurants on the Diz Dining Database. That's uh, Rosen Crown at number ten, Ohana, Liberty Tree Tavern, Akershus at number seven, Crystal Palace, Tusker House, Hoopty Doo Review, uh, Hollywood and Vine at number three, Cinderella's Royal Table at number two, and the most searched restaurant in 2018 was Be Our Guest in the Magic Kingdom. And that will do it for our show. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again next week with another episode of the Disney Dining Show. Have a great week, everybody.